Hey guys, uh, strate strategic intervention, uh, strategy. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it can mean a lot of different things. But, you know, up until this point, what we've done is, you know, our first pillar, we've introduced people to practicing of presence, which could involve dealing with your blocks in order to even go into a practice and finding out what type of practice worked best for you and showing you how to lean into your edge to begin shifting the way that your brain actually holds reality. And the second pillar is, you know, dissolving, discharging, past uh, emotional conditioning, past traumas, which could be generational childhood, past relationships. All of those are defense mechanisms that basically we're now reclaiming and we're, we're getting that energy back. Well, now, what do you want to do with that energy? And so when we look at the strategy, there's a lot of different strategies. We, we can look at everything from straight line of what works, what doesn't work, what's next. What a great question of mindful inquiry to figure out where, what's going on in our life. Instead of trying to swallow the whole elephant, we divide that up a lot of times into these different categories. What's the ear? What's the nose? What's the foot? What's the tail? What's going on maybe on in my spirituality, my relationship, my relationship with myself, my exercise, my diet, my family, my friends, my career, my education. All of these things and more can be different categories of our life where we begin taking a inventory of where we are now take an inventory of what our ideal life is, doing a subtraction on the differential, and then being able to work on those differentials. And there's a lot of science and evidence-based uh, strategy that we can bring. Straight line leadership is, is one example where we can create really clear distinctions on how to regain where we're sending too much energy and be able to focus it with power and velocity towards what we want to create. You know, distinctions like what's the difference between being an owner and being a victim? What's the difference between being a pleaser and being a server? You know, there's a lot of distinctions like that that we can clearly, you know, throw up again on the on a whiteboard and go, okay, this is what I'm doing, this is what works, this is what doesn't work, and really clearly we can make some very distinct choices that can immediately bring us a lot of energy to where and what we want it to be. When we look at relationships, you know, Gottman-based, uh, understanding how to maneuver into these blocks instead of just hitting the same walls over and over and over again. When we look at Tony Robbins, Chloe Madonna's uh, human needs psychology, where we're examining the six human needs that everybody is going to fill, but we're beginning to learn how to do mindful inquiry to go, okay, am I getting this need filled positively, negatively, neutrally? Like, how is that showing up? Because we know within that model that when you get three or more of those needs filled at like a seven, eight out of 10, then that thought, that action, that behavior becomes an addiction. So this becomes a really fruitful place for mindful inquiry for us to begin going, okay, how can I get this need filled in a much more positive way? And like, oh, wow, this is what I've been doing. And here's why it's not sustainable. Here's why it hasn't worked. We wanna be able to look at these patterns of strategy of eliminating external coping mechanisms of projection and, and avoidance and really understanding what those actually are and be able to go more internal in order to figure out how to process what's here, which is a part of the other aspects of what we've mentioned, so that we can get all that energy returned to us and we can truly be in a state of flow. Flow meaning that it takes minimal or no effort for us to be us and have that energy for the purpose, like knowing who we are, what we're made of and what we came here in this life to, to do and be. Uh, so we're excited to introduce you to all these concepts and to find a custom program for you also. Um, we're looking forward to talking to you in the future. Take care.